Hello everyone, welcome back to Angina's Creations. Today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do your own charger plate insert. It is very simple to do. You um, can use these for baby showers, birthday parties, weddings, anything of your choice. And this is very simple to do. I am going to, the tutorial for today, I'm going to show you how to do it using Microsoft Word. And then I'll do a separate video on how to do it using Silhouette Studio. In this video, I will show you how to do um, also a mock-up. So stay tuned and watch to the end. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is open up your Microsoft Word and like I always say in my previous tutorials, I go to File, I go to Save As, and then I will click on where it says Save As Type, and then drop down and I will put Word 97 2003 Document and you will name your file, you will click Save, and that is all. After that, I am using, I'm going to go to Page Layout. And I am on portrait mode and I am using 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So our orientation is portrait. My size is 8.5 by 11 standard size printer. My spacing is zero point and after is 10 points and my margins are on normal because I know usually everyone asks those questions. And now my Microsoft Word might look different than yours. I'm also getting a lot of those questions. But as long as you're using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, you should be fine. Uh, your template, you will go to Insert. You will go to Shapes. You will click on the circle. You will make any size circle on your screen. Make sure your circle is selected. You will go on your Format tab all the way to the right. On your Height, you will type in the number 8 and Enter. And then on your width, you're going to type the number 8 and enter. And this will be your first circle. Now, you could start designing from here, but I always like my charger um, inserts to have like a, a different color border. Um, like I said, you your size should be 8 by 8. But I want my back circle to be a different color. So while I'm in the format tab, I'm going to go to shape fill. And you could fill it in with any of these colors if you want. Or you will go to picture, you will make sure you're in the shape fill, then you will click on picture, you will look for the background that you want the first circle to be, and I want it to be um, glitter. So again, you could go to Google and save your images, and I have a video on how to save Google images, or you can purchase dig digital backgrounds from Etsy. So I'm going to go to my folder that I have my backgrounds. I'm going to select it. I'm also going to look for the glitter background that I want. Click on it and click on insert. See, I'm also going to make sure it's selected. Go back to my format tab and where it says shape outline, I'm going to click where it says no outline. And I am done with this first circle. I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to click on shapes. I'm going to click on a circle. I'm going to make any size circle on my screen. Make sure you select it. Make sure you're on the format tab. Go to the height. I'm going to type 7.8 enter and 7.8 and enter. Now hold down your shift key. And while that circle is selected, your other circle, both circles are selected, pressing down your shift key. You're going to go to align, align center, and align middle. And then make sure you put both circles in the middle of the screen like that. Unselect both of them. Click the middle circle. Go back to format tab. Go back to the shape fill. Go back to picture. Now you, this is the second background that you want uh, the middle circle to be. You're going to go back to your files. You're going to save your image. Um, I want this background and then click on insert. And I'm going to go back to my format tab, shape outline, no outline. And both of my circles are colored in. Now for your individual images, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to Google and look up PNG images. When you look up PNG images, that means they have a transparent background. And also Etsy has a whole bunch of images you can use. Now you will go to insert, you will go to picture, and you're going to look for the image that you want to add. Now I'm going to look for a frame. Also frames and all that sort of stuff you can find on Google as well. And 
and you're going to click on insert now your image is going to be in the back make sure it's selected you go to format wrap text in front of text and it's going to come to the front size it correctly to fit in the middle of your circle or wherever you want it you don't have to specifically design it how i'm designing it this is just giving you an example now once you're done there you're going to go back to insert you're going to go back to pictures and you're going to look for another image that you would like to add and click on insert format tab wrap text in front of text now you see this image it has a white background sometimes you can remove the white background off a of word but sometimes it will remove some particles that you don't want it to remove but you can also go to removebg.com i also have a tutorial for that and it will remove the white background for you so while this picture is selected right here on the format tab all the way on my left it will say recolor and I will click where it says set transparent color and I'm going to click on my white area and it automatically remove I also have a tutorial for this I have several tutorials on how to remove backgrounds I'm going to size her up how I want it and I bought this image from Etsy uh, digital divine divas is her name that sells these kind of characters so that's it I am done now I want some words on it you will go to insert you will go to word art click on the first word art and you are going to type oh you're going to look for the font that you want and then just type whatever you wanted to say And while it's selected, look for the font you would like. And you could um, download free fonts from thefont.com. And I also have a um, tutorial for that. So once you're satisfied, I'm just going to click this for to be fast with the tutorial. You're going to click OK. It's going to be in the back. So you got to go to Format, Wrap Text in Front of Text. And you're going to put your font where you want it to be. And you're going to size it. And then you will go to shape fill and pick any of these colors that you would like. If you don't like any of these colors, you could go to more fill colors and click any of these colors. And you're going to click OK. I'm going to go to shape outline, no outline. And I'm actually going to put that name a little bit darker. And then you are done with your charger plates. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you're selling digital files to your customers, you will have to go to File, Save As. And then from here, you're going to go to where it says Save As Type go down and it's going to say PDF PDF means when you send this to a customer they can't edit anything that you made or if their software is not compatible with your software nothing that you added here will change even if you don't have a printer at home you have to save it as a PDF file you will save it on USB stick and go print it wherever you want or you will email them your image now be aware that a lot of places do not print copyrighted images and you're all done here if you do have a printer at home you only have to go to um the little print setting of the print preview it has like a magnifying glass with a paper you're going to go to print preview make sure everything looks perfectly fine when you are on print preview and you will go i go to printer properties right here my printer selected and I will go to printer properties 
And I have a Work 47710 printer. It's an inkjet printer. I'm going to make sure my document size is correct. It is an 8.5 by 11. And I do not like printing on uh, plain paper type. So I will scroll down and I will click on Premium Presentation Paper Matte. And that's all I'm going to change. I will click OK. And then I would print. And I'm going to print this on 65 pound cardstock. And then I'll be back once it's printed. Okay, so here it is, the printed um, charger plate insert. And all you have to do is cut it off and then add it to your charger plates. Okay, once you cut it, it is very simple. Again, this is just for decoration purposes. You do not need to glue this on your charger plate. They are not eating uh, from the charger plate. And this is, you know, after they're done with their event or your event, you know, you just throw this away and then um, get your charger plate back. So what you will do is... You will get charger plates from any craft store. Even Dollar Tree has them. And my affiliated link is down in the description box. Now, again, I am an affiliate with Dollar Tree. So if you purchase through my link, we do get a small commission. So you will just put this right here. No need to glue it. And then you will get a clear plate from Dollar Tree. And you will place it on top. Now, whoever eats from it, they were going to eat from this clear plate. And that's all you do. See? It's very decorative on top of here. You could put a napkin, you could put your utensils, however you want to decorate it. But that's how you do your charger plates. Now, I'm also going to show you how to do a mock-up. A mock-up is a um, like a digital image that you will show your customers how the completed item is going to look. Uh, if you are um, selling the actual charger plate inserts to your customers, there's something for mock-ups. Like I said, if you are just selling the digitals, then you do want to show your customers how it, the digital is going to look. And I'm going to show you really quick how to do your mock-up. First thing you're going to do is click on the back circle. Click your down your shift key, click on the other circle, and every else um, item you have inside of your design you're going to right click you're going to go to grouping and group it together and now everything in here should be grouped together as one image you can make your circle smaller for now so we could put the um, background that we need to get a background that you will need, you would just go to Google and look up any background of your choice. And also you will need to go to Google and get a gold charger plate PNG. Once you click on the image, it should look like this, like a gray and white background. That means it's a, it is a transparent background. You will right click and save it to your computer. Once you have everything saved, go back to Word, go back to insert, go to picture and click on the background that you want your mock-up to have. Click on the background, click insert, and then go to format, wrap text, behind text, and then make your background fill in the entire piece of paper that you have on your screen. Like that. And now, on select everything, go to insert, go to picture, and now go wherever you saved your um charger plate image and then click on insert once you're there go to wrap text and in front of text and then make your charger plate whatever size you want it you can put three on the screen right click it and copy right click and paste and put another one next to it or however you want it uh, the plate that you have in there, the plate, the design that we just did, click on it again and go to wrap text in front of text. So it could come to the front and wrap text. I'm sorry. Bring forward, bring to front. I'm sorry. Bring forward, bring to front. Um, make your circle smaller to fit inside of your charger plate. Make sure it stays like a circle. And... And then all you have to do is you are going to, I'm sorry, I don't know why I duplicate that one. But this one that we just did, click on the insert in the inside, click on the plate, right click it, grouping and group it together. And now copy and paste. 
and paste again. I'm gonna make my page a little bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing. And paste again. Like that. And all from here, you are basically done with your mock-up. But I always tell you guys, don't forget to always, always put your name on here and your logo. So if you have your logo saved in your computer, go back and uh, look for your logo. And if you don't have a logo, just add your name to it. And I also have other videos here on YouTube showing you how to watermark your work and stuff like that. I usually don't um, do my mockups on here on Microsoft Word. I usually do my mockups on my phone using PixArt. So comment down below if you would like me to show you how I do my mockups also on PixArt. And also I have a different app showing you how I put my name all across uh, this video I mean, all across this image uh, with my name all across it. So it just don't have my watermark. It has also all my name around it. Okay, so that is all from here. You will save this as an image and then you will email it to your customer or you will post it on all your social media and let them know that you are now offering charger plate inserts, digital files, or the actual item. So if you like this video as well, also please comment down below and please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get notified for any more videos. And I see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye guys.